Hello viewer, welcome to Strictly Coding and hope you are having a wonderful time. This video is all about understanding how a C++ program or any high level programming language uh, program works. So this is a video which is part of the playlist called Learning C++ for Beginners. So if you are an experienced programmer, uh, thanks for stopping by and uh, for being with me. Now, there will be many more videos uploaded in this series, but in this video, I'll be particularly focusing on the working mechanism of, uh, in understanding working mechanism of any high-level programming language. Now, think about two people are communicating with each other. Now, if I talk to someone, if Mr. X talks to Mr. Y in English, then two things must comply. Both of them must understand English and the content delivered by X should be grammatically correct. Uh, there are seven billion population on earth and many people around us understand English. Uh, but if you speak in French or some other language where there will be many people who don't understand that and then there should be some level of translation. And the requirement for translation is that the source language should be grammatically correct so that the translator can translate it into the target language. So if the source language is English and the target language is French, then the content delivered in English should be grammatically correct. Uh, same thing happens when we communicate with the computer. Now, in case of human-to-human -human interaction, translation may be necessary, may not be necessary. Depend, it depends whether both parties understand the language or not. But when we communicate with computer, we cannot understand the content generated in or developed in binaries because binary zeros and one and computer understand binary computer instructions are executed in terms of binary instruction by at the processor level and as a human being I cannot understand continuous flow of zeros and ones I cannot interpret that so I have to give the instruction to the computer something uh, a, something similar to human readable format and there all the high level programming languages comes into picture like C, C++, Fortran, Java okay and many more Python so in high-level programming language as a programmer I do not write the program or I do not give the instruction in binary zeros and one rather I give the instruction in human readable form it looks like English but it's not the exactly the English language but it's a programming language but it has a lot of similarity we can we can understand we can it's a human readable form so once we write the instructions in human readable form uh, before translating it into binary which is the machine code uh, the translator here which can be a compiler which can be interpreted depending on the programming language uh, actually checks the correctness of the content that we write now if you go back to the natural language like like English friends uh, we need to form the sentences uh, in programming language construct we call that statement and then we combine bunch of sentences and form a meaningful paragraph uh, similarly there we actually have bunch of statements and we have a meaningful block uh, function is one of the most popular block that we'll be covering later on so before a translator converts the machine readable code we call it source code into uh, sorry human readable code which is source code into machine readable code compiler or interpreter checks the correctness grammatical correctness of the source code and that is called syntax analysis so if the if the if the source code is uh, correct that means syntax analysis is successful there is no syntax error then it converts our source code into uh, machine code. Now, 
it's not necessarily the converted machine code is executable because oftentimes what happens uh, as a programmer I do not write the instructions to do every micro level task uh, which are quite often very common for example uh, if I want to display some information onto the monitor or if I want to take some user input from the keyboard and this is a very common task need by almost every programmer to solve almost every problem so it's a very common and frequently used programmer so at every programmer at every program level by all the programmers it's a waste of time to reinvent the wheel and write all the detailed instructions to take input from keyboard or or sending an information to the monitor uh, for example if I want to send some data into a screen onto a screen I have to give instruction to uh, to to read the content from the memory location in the RAM then uh, what should be the font color what should be the font size uh, what should be the coordinate on the screen where the the content will be rendered so and so forth so and uh, this task is very common task so it's it's waste of time to thinking about the logic and and writing instructions for that rather what I can do I can actually take help of third-party service provider we call it library and we call a function for that from that library to do that for me so all I need to do is I can simply tell call that function library function and tell okay this is the content in my memory displayed on the monitor or take some input from the keyboard as a number and store it in the memory and that function will do that on behalf of me so it means there is a machine code instruction set associated with that function somewhere in the library so if I call that function that associated set of machine code instructions will be executed uh, for example suppose I'm writing a program to find the factorial of a number so I have to take input from the user what is that number and then I have to find the factorial of that number I have to uh, use the logic so if the number is x then I have to multiply x with x minus 1 times then x minus 2 times then x minus 3 times and so forth until uh, 2 uh, so I somehow find the logic and write instructions for that but taking input from keyboard the value of x and displaying the factorial value of x to the monitor is a very common task so I can actually call functions library functions to do that so my source code actually comprises uh, certain instructions that I give to execute uh, suppose the actual calculation of the factorial value uh, on the other hand the taking input for X and displaying output uh, on the monitor are actually handled by two function calls so I call a function to take input from the keyboard and I call another function to display the output that is the factorial value on the screen so if I if the translator in case of C++ it is a compiler uh, tries to convert my source code human readable code into the machine code it first checks whether all the statements are grammatically correct or not so after syntax analysis if all the statements are grammatically correct it will produce an object file uh, if I explain in layman's term the object file is the machine code equivalent of the instruction that I give however apart from my instruction there are some function calls library function calls and those library function calls also has their own machine code instructions set of instructions so those machine codes uh, representing library calls should be linked with the machine codes equivalent of my source code uh, and linking synchronization of two machine code equivalents uh, is called the linking 
and at the end of, of the linking process the executable will be produced so this whole process is called building the executable so build so before you run your source code you actually have to build uh, so in case of c++ uh, first the compiler will convert the source code which is the .cpp file uh, and it will produce an object file the extension is typically .o or .obj depending on the compiler version and then it will be linked with the uh, machine code equivalent of the library function calls and then the executable will be produced so if I review the whole process one second as a human being we have to give the instruction to computer which we can understand what instruction is given so it should be in human readable form so all the high level programming languages allow us to give the instruction the write the code into human readable form and we call it source code now once the source code is written uh, we need to translate that source code into machine code now for C++ two step the first it will convert my source code my dot cpp file into object file uh, which is machine code equivalent of my source code but it is not yet ready for execution because the machine code equivalence of the library function calls are still to be linked so now the linker or link editor will come into picture and it will actually uh, synchronize our machine code with the machine code of the library calls from the library and the executable will be produced which is an exe file and then actually we can execute that exe file i uh, hope this video helps you if you like this video please uh, give a thumbs up uh, share it with your friends and consider subscribing the channel thanks for watching and see you in next video.